So the Grudge 2020 sucks. What's up, guys? Welcome to Movie Importance Movie Review of The Grudge, the news film from director Nicholas Pesce. And it stars Andrea Riceborough, Damian Bashir, John Cho, Betty Gilpin, Lynn Shay, and Jackie Weaver. So it's literally January 3rd when The Grudge comes out, and we already have a contender for one of the worst movies of the year. That's impressive for the first movie to come out this year. This movie is bad. Not only is it bad, but it gives the Ju-On Grudge franchise a bad name. It gives it a black eye and the grudge 3 which is was a terrible movie the grudge 2 which was pretty bad they're like citizen kane compared to this movie because this movie is just it's all over the place it doesn't make any sense we have a woman who basically she was in the house of the original grudge you know in japan she comes back home to america and she carries a curse with her and we have a character played by andrea riseborough who is basically she's a detective. I think she's moved to this town from a different town with her son. And she is now partnered up with Damien Bashir's character, who was in another terrible movie just a couple years ago called The Nun. And so they well, basically she learns about this house and about these murders that have happened in this house. And she decides she's going to do the one thing you don't do in horror films step inside the house especially when it's a supernatural problem like the ring or something like that and of course things happen she starts seeing things she starts learning about what happened in the two years that she has started investigating this story and we see different parts of the stories we see you know the original owners then we see you know the realtors and then we see the next owners and it becomes super confusing about what's going on in this movie and this is why it's so bad because it doesn't stick with one storyline. There's three or four different storylines in a 90 minute movie going on in this movie. And it's just, it's because the director just doesn't know where he wants to go with this movie. He's the writer of this movie as well. He's trying to be clever with his jump scares, with his, you know, go ghost and like the, the darkness or whatever. And, you know, it becomes such a joke and cliche that you just get bored with it. There are so many times in this movie where the ghost of whatever is haunting the grudge or whatever ghost that it just becomes tiresome you see it all over the place you see the family dead family members all over all over the place and it just it's so tiresome and then on top of that damien Bashir is terrible in this movie i don't know where he was thinking i don't know what he's thinking andre resborough riseborough doesn't really have anything to do outside of just reading back history you know john cho and betty gilpin are having a baby that has a, a, a mental disorder and they are affected by this and then we have jackie weavers in this movie and she's awful in this movie everybody's really awful i mean frankie fison's in this movie which i love frankie fison i think he's a great actor he's married to uh lynn shane who is you know everybody's favorite in like the insidious movies but I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on in this movie. There doesn't make any sense. When I go back to the Chewbacca defense. It doesn't make sense, and that's why it's so bad because it's 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 like juggling balls, and the balls are just like going all over the place. And I, I I don't know where to go, where to hear, where to hear. It's over here. They fall all over the place. You know, when it goes into the, into the past two years, you're like following this story. Then it go, all of a sudden goes to this story. It's like. Can you pick a story to stick with? I mean, I think if you just stuck with the Andrew Riseborough character, maybe given a little bit of the past of what's going on in this house, but this is a pure cash grab. I'm surprised Sam Raimi put his name on this because this movie is awful. It's not good. It's uh, definitely not recommended at all. You can definitely tell this was a, we need to push this out. We need to make money off of this because this movie's terrible. And it's, it's exactly what it is. And everybody in this movie is just awful you know and andrew riseberry has a has a son who just kind of completely disappears through the movie and then he gets when she goes and tries to destroy the house it's like she brings her son with her i'm like why are you doing this but it's just it leads into the exact same things you think it's going to lead into it leads into the exact ending you think it's going to lead to and it doesn't have any great payoffs you know when the payoffs try to happen they're so cliche and so clumsy and dumbfounding you're just like 
why so i i put myself through watching this so you guys don't have to so don't watch the grudge watch something else go watch uh annabelle creation which this movie is actually kind of similar to because it's about people moving into a new house with a new creature or whatever but it's such a shame because the grudge franchise especially the june own which is very creative from the japanese culture and it's based off their you know folklore and fairy uh, folklore and tales and stuff like that but yeah this movie is awful <laughs> this movie is bad so there you go first movie of the year complete stink bomb so anyways uh that'll do it that's my take on the the grudge 2020 uh please don't go see this movie but if you do let me know in the comments below what you think of it you might enjoy it like i did but there were people laughing in the theater and not for the reasons you think so anyways uh hit the subscribe button join movie of point hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next and uh comment below on any video that you watch my channel otherwise i'll see you guys on the next video Peace out. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out Movie Emporium. I really appreciate it. If you want to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button and the bell at the top. Find out what's coming next for Movie Emporium. Also, check out these two videos. They're amazing. I think they're awesome. I think you'll enjoy them, too. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.